Listen closer to this next story here because this is about the fiscal cliff. This is about uh, your retirement savings. Take a look at this Facebook page with me. Uh, here it is. It was put together by a group of professionals that services retirement plans. They're reaching out all across social media. They're on Twitter. They're on LinkedIn. Their message, contact Congress and tell lawmakers to keep their hands off your 401k bill. Allison Kostick, let me bring you back in to talk about this. I know this makes people cringe when you start thinking about 401ks. You know, look, is, oh, this, yeah. is this a scare tactic or, or is there a real chance that your 401k could get axed? You know what, Brooke? It is a possibility that certain benefits of your 401k uh, of your 401k could become that sacrificial lamb as lawmakers hash out this deal on the fiscal cliff. This group called the American Society of Pension Professionals and Actuaries. What a mouthful that is! Well, that group is spearheading this movement. What they essentially want to do is make everybody aware of the possible implications of going off the cliff. Now, a big part of, of the fiscal cliff is tax reform, and if Congress and the president do nothing by the end of the year, employees could be in danger of losing some of the benefits that are attached to their 401ks. Now, we talked with Brian Graff. He's with this group, and he says, you know what the big worry is? That Congress could reduce how much employees can put into their plans on oh, wow. tax defaults on a tax deferred basis. So you look at what currently we can do. Workers can currently put up to 17,000 into their 401ks every year. Well, guess what? You could see that cut all the way down to $10,000. That's a huge difference, Brooke. Is this, you know, I know it's big companies. Does this also affect small businesses? Oh, yes, yes, yeah. and you, exactly. Yeah, many small business owners are uh, could, could, could consider just getting rid of their plans if the costs start to outweigh the benefits. And that would have a huge impact because employee benefit, the Employee Benefit Research Institute finds that almost 85% of 401ks are offered by businesses that have fewer than 100 employees. So they're small businesses and they're likely to, it's likely to mean that more people are going to be saving less money. Here's, here's some proof of that. Less than 5% of middle income earners put money into a retirement account on their own if their employer doesn't provide one. Compare that to more than 70% who put it into these retirement accounts when a company offers one. So if there's no incentive to do it, these small businesses may say, you know what, forget it. We're not even going to have we're not even going to offer it, Brooke. Mm -hmm. Allison Kosick, thank you very much.